On behalf of the people and government of Canada, we offer a full apology to Chinese Canadians for the head tax and express our deepest sorrow for the subsequent exclusion of Chinese immigrants. Gana Dai Dohi. On June 22, 2006, Prime Minister Stephen Harper formally apologized to Chinese Canadians for the head tax. He admitted that the past racist legislations were historical errors and promised monetary compensation. The Prime Minister also highly praised Chinese Canadians' contributions. His speech opened a new chapter in the history of the Chinese in Canada and was concluded by a standing ovation in Parliament. There, out of all the leftovers, and I don't mind telling you, this is where the Canadian people said, and they were calling us, this is like a no Chinaman's chance of getting rich, because you are panning all the leftovers to try to find us spot food. The gold rush started to fade in 1864. Many of the Chinese moved to coal mining from gold panning. Some, though, were employed by Governor James Douglas to dig ditches and drain swamps for farming or to build a wagon road. It's not a coincidence that the largest uh, ethnocultural community are Canadians of Chinese origin, with over a million in every province, in every community, something that makes a lot of sense given the presence of Chinese Canadians going back to the 1870s. It's the story of, of refusing to give up in the face of injustice, racism, and discrimination. It's ultimately a story about the greatness and generosity of this country. So uh, this again is a, is a final opportunity on a personal level to acknowledge the, the uh, head taxpayer generation. Uh, following the screening, uh, I will be uh, happy to, to, I'll be up here and I hope to, to anybody who's interested, any of those who have not uh, been part of a, of a presentation ceremony to, the, to date, um, and who have received expiration payments are, are invited to join me on the stage and I'll present you with the Prime Minister's certificate uh, as a uh, hopefully permanent memento of this period of, of healing, of redress and reconciliation.